Okay, in this video, we are going to show you how to download your vehicle scraper and listing tool and how to use it. So we're gonna start with going to uh, the Chrome store uh, and most likely uh, you have, uh, you will see the extension in your email, your onboarding email uh, that had this video in it. And uh, when you click on the Google Chrome store, it will link in your email. It's gonna take you here. If uh, you don't see that there, you can also type in uh, under extensions, vehicle scraper and lister, and you will see the tool with this icon with the marketplace and the car in the middle there. Once you go to the uh, Chrome store, all you need to do is click on get or add, depending on uh, your browser type. Uh, so we're just going to click on the extension and click add extension. Uh, now what we're going to do is our extension is going to be added into our browser. So we can close this, uh, close this window here. Uh, and you will notice now a puzzle piece that uh, is in your top right corner on your URL taskbar. If you click that puzzle piece, you're going to see inside here vehicle scraper and lister. Um, and uh, if you're using Microsoft Edge, it's going to have a little eyeball icon. You click that and that is going to pin it here at the top of your toolbar. If you're using Google Chrome, this icon is going to be the shape of a pin and you click that. And then the idea is it's now going to pin it to your uh, right to your toolbar here. Uh, if you do not see the extensions puzzle piece here, another way is you could also click on your three dots, go down to extensions and it will pull up the same uh, same icon here for you. Now, once it's pinned to your toolbar, very, very simple process to launch uh, the product. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just click one time on the icon and it's gonna pull up this uh, little box here. Uh, in your email, you have uh, received an API key. You're gonna wanna copy and paste that into here. So you just paste your API key in here um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, you're gonna also wanna add in your listing description. Now, you will notice it does say here, add de uh, dealership vehicle description. If you click that, it will copy what the dealership has on uh, its uh, listing uh, page. I recommend not to do it because most of the time uh, it gives Facebook an error. So I recommend you do not click this. Just on the listing description, put your own custom listing description. Uh, you could either put uh, call and then your name in here um, and then put your phone number or you could put uh, anything you want um, uh, just for the sake of uh, this particular demo. Bad credit, uh, you could put no credit uh, uh, or, we, or let's just say uh, no credit, not bad credit. Uh, no credit, okay. Um, we could put whatever you choose in here and it's gonna save that and put that into the listing description, okay? Just for the sake of, of this, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, on your emoji, you can select from a dropdown of five different emojis. Typically, I select the fire one. Uh, and what this will do is it will put an emoji into the listing description for you uh, to make your listing description stand out better than anybody else's. Now, once you've done that, you got your API key in here that's in your email just hit select vehicle. And what that is going to do uh, is it's going to take uh, you directly to uh, your dealership's uh, third party listing page. Now, almost every dealership has their inventory on either AutoTrader, cars.com, car gurus, cars for sale, one of those. And uh, whatever one of those sites, uh, we will have it linked already for you. So for, let's say this Planet Ford Highway 59, is your dealership uh, and we have it linked to there, it's gonna automatically pull up all of your dealership's inventory. Now you're gonna see on here, it's gonna have this little post to Facebook button. And all you do is you click on that. But I wanna show you something before we do that. Let's say you go to page two or any of these other pages looking for some other uh, vehicles, uh, you'll see that the post to Facebook button no longer pops up. And if you ever come across that and it doesn't pop up, all you need to do is refresh your screen. So refresh your screen and then you will notice that dynamically it will uh, all of a sudden pop up for you once that uh, once you refresh your screen. So let's just say, for example, I want to post this 2021 Toyota Camry. All I do is click on the post to Facebook and then do nothing else. 
literally it's going to start communicating with our server. Uh, it pulls up the page, don't touch anything. It's gonna pull up the photos and our server is gonna grab all those photos and automatically open Facebook Marketplace for you. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. I'm not doing anything. It's gonna automatically go through and start listing everything out. If you notice, now did you check that out? And you see it, it lists the title, emoji, fire emoji, it put it in there. Uh, we have it dynamically put the miles right in the listing. Why do we do that? Because it will make your listing stand out different than anybody else's listing. So uh, also you're gonna notice it's gonna put it under the vehicle type as other. Why we do that is because we can put the emoji in there, we can put the miles into the title. And when you list it as other, we have seen Facebook with the algorithm, it has a tendency to show more vehicles. Uh, also, uh, we can get away with whatever price we wanna put in here without Facebook ghosting us uh, in any way uh, because they feel the pricing is off. But if you notice this, the tool is literally, I'm not doing anything, it's loading every single photo for me, one after another. This whole process takes about one minute. Within one minute, I can list this vehicle. Now, let's say for example, I don't like this first photo. I don't want the logo on here. All I do is just hit that X and I can move this one to the first one and that's the photo I'm gonna use. Um, very, very simple. You can see how fast it's loading all these photos for me. Like I said, I can delete any which one that I choose. And then uh, once it's loaded 20 photos, cause that's about roughly what that's what Facebook is gonna uh, allow. They, they max it at 20 photos. So once it's loaded my photos, you're gonna come down to the bottom and you're gonna see now all of a sudden, you see how the description, it automatically put that description that I had in my tool and then it puts the price. Once the price has been listed in there, boom, I can hit publish. And uh, once I hit publish, it's going to take me to the next page. I'm gonna close this. Um, and then now you can see my, my listing has been listed. So very, very simple, very easy to do. Um, now when I go back, if, if I go back and I click on the tool, uh, it saves my listing description, it saves my API key, I'm gonna hit select vehicle again. It's gonna take me back, now I can start listing the next vehicle. Um, here's what's really cool, I just wanna show, show this. Uh, I'm gonna go back to page two where that, that uh, other vehicle was that I listed. Remember, I went to the second page, so I'm gonna to have to refresh the screen again. Uh, once I refresh that screen, um, and now there was that Camry that I listed, and you're gonna see something very unique happen. The button that said post to Facebook now all of a sudden changes to purple, and it says it's already been posted. So it keeps track for you, uh, the vehicles that you wanna post. And it's simple as that. Now when I'm ready to post the next vehicle, all I need to do is uh, uh, grab the next one that I want to post. Uh, let's say I want to do this one. I hit post to Facebook and it's going to do the whole entire process all over again. Very, very simple, very fast, very easy to be able to use. So uh, feel free if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to uh, us and we'd love to help you out uh, and have fun posting. Just make sure you don't post one car after another. Uh, put a little bit of time in between posting uh, you could post between five to 10 cars per day uh, in your listings. Just make sure you put uh, you know, 15, 15 minutes or so in between listings and uh, you should be fine. Let us know if you have any questions.